Welcome to Charm Record, my friends, and thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to go and explore some Pokemon Go again. And you're going to be like, hey, Charm Record, didn't you open up one of these previously? Well, have you seen the last videos? We opened up the individual V Battle decks featuring Mewtwo and Melmetal, but this time, we're going to have a go at the V Deck Bundle. So this V Deck Bundle, as you can see on the screen, the prices are kind of a little bit more expensive than the double if you bought them both singly. So what's different about this set? Well, I don't think it actually warrants the extra price tag on top of it. However, you can see there, there is a lot of extra things, but I did read somewhere on the box, and I can't see where it is, Boop, there we go, the two Pokemon Go booster packs. So that's the extras you get there. You also get a few little extras here, which we will dive into them. Is the uh, Bosses Orders Giovanni Foil. Woo, sounds all exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> and also Professor Willow. So we're gonna have a tuck into this and we're gonna see how good this is. But if you've seen the last video, I will dig down deep to try and tell you the best things uh, to upgrade your battle decks with. And um, yeah, I've done this around the wrong way, haven't I? I should have done this. I should have torn this along there. There you go. And uh, yeah, if you've seen the last video, best way to upgrade your deck and that. I'm not going to do it in this video because otherwise this video would be too long. And to be honest, you've seen all this. But anyway, the double V deck bent. Big bundle, whatever you want to call it. Big bundle of joy. <gasps> oh, 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 we're going to look at those in a minute. Um, it is an amazing set, especially. I love the stickers. Oh my word, I'm loving the stickers. I'm so keeping those. I'm so keeping those. I love them. There's the code as well if you haven't seen it upside down already. But there you go. So well done to you lot out there. They've got managed to get a, a lucky egg or a new hat. Show it off. Let us know in the comments what you get. Um, so yeah, we have opened up these before. These are a very, very good way to start your own deck. These are level ones. Um, very good Pokemon. Very good. I think the Psychic one with Mewtwo is a little bit more favoursome than the uh, Melmetal. But to be honest, it depends what type of play playing type you are. So at the same time as showing all this off, I'm going to say, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Charcard. We open up stuff all the time and we have a little bit of fun. And if you're a long-term subscriber, thank you very much, my friend. And we hit 5,000 and a thumbs up for you all for your absolutely you know amazing comments they are were amazing and it made me so happy some of you saying how much you like pokemon because of this channel honestly we wouldn't be doing this without you guys so thank you very much so as you can see there is your details about the male metal and mewtwo v deck as well the way the best way to look it tells you upgraded deck so pause the video and have a little read i'm terrible at doing those faulty things so let's dig into male metal first shall we now my last male metal f in the chat last time because it was absolutely actually, that is some type of Pringle. God, that potato chip has gone completely brick like that. But uh, yeah, my last one, it was completely utterly missing the right hand side. Uh, but this time, this one's looking a little bit better. Uh, like I said, it's a bit like a potato chip that's gone a bit crazy on one side. But to be honest, I'm happy that I've got a good one now. So I will plinky plonky you there. So we get the code card as well. So well done to anyone out there that gets that Mel Metal V battle deck. I hope you do some damage to your friendships. And uh, then we also get, I said, we're not going to go too, too much into this video like we did last time. So there is the Mel Metal coin, which has that oil effect, which is very good to see as well. We also get the quick reference cards, which I won't dig into these because like I said, I went into these in the last video. These little dudes, little counters as well. These are, oh, oh, two. Okay, well, if one ain't enough, get two. That's really good to see. Let's push you to the back. There we go. And we've already read through this. Oh, this one's actually printed on different type of paper. So there you go. So there's your Mail Metal V battle deck. Gives you all your information about the best way of uh, attacking and uh, all the extras, uh, you know, all the extras it does really, which is very handy note. And there's your Mewtwo V battle deck, which you can't see yet because we're not doing the Mail Metal yet. Or Mewtwo, my apologies. But no, there you go. Give a little, little looky rooney at that. It's really good. Um, I'm liking them printed on normal, like paper, uncoated paper. Hopefully, it's recycled. We also get some, uh, well, I wasn't say two lots of um, mats, but no, we, we get the quick start rule book, which has changed slightly since, uh, well, the previous V Battle decks, like the Raquasia, which was still one of my favorite decks. I still play with Raquasia. Um, it's not the strongest of decks, but it's a great deck to just start off with and have a little bit of a fight with it. 
it. It's very good, and uh, I do win a few matches, but to be honest, it was nowhere near compen uh, compared to my center scorch battle uh, my actual deck. That was amazing, but of course, some of those cards are no longer going to be standard, so I've got to find a new deck, and I do keep looking at this male metal deck just because it's a little bit of fun. And there we go. So there's the ba there are the rules for the V Battle deck. So if you're getting into Pokemon, this set is brilliant for you lot to buy, especially if you've got like a friend or something. Buy it between you both, and you have an amazing looking poster. So you can share, cut it off and give give, you know, give your friend the Mewtwo and you keep the male metal or vice versa. Or if you don't have any friends, just buy it anyway. It looks great still on the wall. <laughs> so there we go. So there's a little play map, which I prefer the, the uncoated over the uh, other ones that we had which were glossy. So the cards inside. Well, great little deck box. Fantastic to keep. I love those things. Um, we are going to fly. Have I got this upside down? No, nope, just the first one decides to be upside down. We're just going to fly into. So, of course, you get all your metal energy, which we should probably get some more in a minute. Uh, we get a Barry, um, Galarian Meowth, a Lure Module, another energy. Kabolion, Galarian Berserker, another energy. Tranquil, Evolution Instance, which is a very, very important one to have. Great Ball, another great card to have. Uh, whilst we've got metal, I like to sort these out into uh, energy. So, Bug Catcher is a very, very good one to draw two cards when you flip a coin and all that. Um, so, Great Ball, very good one there again. Egg Incubator. Oh, we've got some damage here. I mean, the Metal Source are a very good one to have, especially if you've got the Zacian V, which is really good. Um, we've got a Switch, which you've got to have a switcheroo every now and again just to annoy your opponents. And also, you don't have to use your uh, retreat costs, which are very, very helpful when you're trying to do metal energy. Um, what else we get here? Sean, uh, Bug Catch. There's nothing that like, really strikes out here. Um, but to be honest, like I said, these decks are great to begin to play. And then all of a sudden, you start upgrading them with some great V cards. And, you know, some of the new things like uh, from um, some of the cards from Astral Radiance. There's some great, there's some great cards, especially uh, some of the trainer cards. Absolutely amazing. Which I do recommend to get. So that goes in the box. So what else do we get in here? Well, that's the Mail Metal one done. Let's jump straight on over to... Well, what we should really do is open up one of these booster packs. Let's open up one of these booster packs to show what comes with the Mail Metal. So here we go. So halfway through the video, Pokemon Go. These are absolutely fun. We're not going to do the card trick. We are just going to let you dive into these and see what we get. And we get a Reverse Blissey with a Moltres Hollow, which is very great to see. Very nice indeed. A good old V-Star, which um, it, don't worry if you find these in your booster packs. You're not being fobbed off for anything by Pokemon. They're literally putting these so you can use them as a marker. Uh, there you go. So nothing exciting in that booster pack. So there's no extras. You don't get any like extra extra cards for you know getting these decks or anything. They are exactly the same from all the other booster packs. So there you go. So there's a Mewtwo V, which is a lovely looking card. I love I wish we had a Mewtwo VMAX. That would be the absolute... Oh my god, this has been really cut with a butter knife, this one. Oh my word. So we're going to Sleevey McSleever this one. I'm glad my other one was good. So we got... We get back here, Sleevey McSleevers. So there we go. So Mewtwo V card is a very good card. Here is a code card for one of you lucky folks out there. Good luck with that one. And I hope you destroy some friendships. <laughs> uh, so it's again, quick reference cards. Well, one set of counters because I don't, you know, of course, you only want one. You don't need two because Mel Metal has two. Um, what else do we get? We get uh, the Mew TV battle deck information, which is very handy to have. But like I said, if you've already read the other one, then you can read it again. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to fold these things up. There we go. Blip. Uh, we get the rule book as well, which to be honest, you got one, so give that to your friend. Give it as a Christmas present because it's nice and easy and be, it's cheap to buy as well. So there we go. So there is a Mewtwo amazing looking mat, which I still love these mats, especially when they coat on a normal coated paper. And there is a poster you can share with your buddy or if you have no friends. You got two posters, doesn't matter. And I think, judging by everyone else's comments recently, this is the best coin Pokemon have designed and brought out. This is stunning. Look at this coin. White acrylic with the purple mirrored effect. Mwah! Perfect. Well done, Pokemon. You guys rock with that one. So we're going to get into the good old Mewtwo deck, which is another lovely looking deck box. And to be honest, when I've been walking around and I've seen some of these, uh, these V Battle decks for sale, I've seen no Mewtwo's at all for sale. I have seen everyone tucking into Mewtwo. Mel Metal, no one's got no love for. Poor little Mel Metal. He's going to do a little cry now. So, uh, 
I've seen Mewtwo sold out most places, to be honest, which it will be an amazing deck. And I swear that this will be in the world. I reckon someone, you know, next year, someone's going to be tweaking this Mewtwo V at an amazing abilities. And you're going to see someone play, I reckon, in this deck, which would be great. It'd be great to see a, comp a competitive deck featuring Mew. Like I said, a Mewtwo VMAX would be very great. Oh, good old Star Me as well. Very good. Like I said, there's some great cut Star You, which is, of course, you need the Star Me to go over the Evolution Incense as well. Uh, oh, Lunatone, great balls. Navenji and a Lure Module. So there are some great cards in there. And sorry, I'll skip through them very quick. I don't want this video lasting for too long because you've seen me open up all the other stuff. So what are the extra little bonuses you get in there? Well, like I said, you got the booster packs. So you get two booster packs. We've opened up one already. We had no luck. Well, actually, we did. We actually got Hollow Moltres, which is very good. And we also get this little pack here. Now, what's inside here? You're going to have to hold fire for that. So we're going to do the Pokemon Go booster pack and see how absolutely pooped I get on with this one. Because, to be honest, I haven't been getting much luck with Pokemon Go. So, here we go. Wimpod, Pikachu, Squirtle, Mountain, Bidoof, a Reverse Charizard. And a sneaky, sneaky Mewtwo V, which tuck it in there very nice. Wow. I tell you what, you couldn't do it. You couldn't even did that. You, I mean, you can't even plan that. That is a great, and to be honest, this artwork on this Mewtwo V, I love it. He's got a different type of looking face, but it's the way the energy glow is coming from the sidebolt. It's a sidebolt, sorry. It looks absolutely amazing. I wish that was a textured card because that would be one of my favorite of Pokemon Go. I mean, of course, after Articuno, because Articuno is the best card in Pokemon Go. <laughs> and yes, I am still collecting all my Articuno cards. I've got loads mountain in my little binder now. So let's find out what this is and you will get a little co-card at the end and I'm going to say thank you very much to everyone that has been watching this channel and going 5,000 strong and we will see you in the next video which we get to open up some Pokemon little mini tins. See you soon everybody. I mean these hollows are absolutely gorgeous. Look at Giovanni. He's looking like the boss there. Lure modules. The modules, egg incubator, egg, 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 rare candy. And thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video, folks. Goodbye. Hopefully, this code card's really good for you. Bye bye.